Well, hello everyone, Texie 88 here and welcome to another video. Now, I'm trying something a bit different for this video. Uh, um, one, one, one genre of, uh, of films that I love is classic Hong Kong action cinema. And yes, we've all heard about the likes of Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Jet Li, Donnie Yen and, and the like, but... Uh, in this video, I'm going to look at someone who didn't become a star to that magnitude, arguably, but uh, but without a doubt gained a very loyal following in in his or her own right. And in this okay, in this video, I'm taking a look at Feng Haon, who who was born in. The, in the Shaji, in Shaji, I believe that's pronounced correctly, in mainland China, and made a name for himself in some some beloved films in classic Hong Kong action cinema. I mean, I mean. One one of his earlier appearances in which he started, which, which a lot of people will will be familiar with, uh, at least outside of um, outside of Asia, is when is when he uh, was the you know, was at the very beginning of the Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, which was the film that um, that gave Jackie Chan his big break and was directed by a then unknown Yun Wu Ping, who later went on to. To do the action choreography for The Matrix, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, the two Kill Bill volumes, and so forth. And he also went on to um, to choreograph the action in Ip Man Three and Ip Man Four, both of which starred Donnie Yen. But um, but back to Fung Hak On. Even though yeah, even though you people may not necessarily remember his name, at least not when they first come across him, they'll certainly recognise his face every time they see him because he had that distinctive look and became, <laughs> and he was, I guess he was one of the he played those characters that people loved to hate, and he made some he's done some exceptionally memorable villain roles in, in his film career. I mean, he, in, in the same year, the Sammo Hung directed and starring Warriors 2 also, also had to, him playing a very memorable villain. And I won't spoil the surprise, but uh, the big reveal of his character in the final reel is definitely worth a look. And and before that, uh, he, he also appeared in... In Iron Fisted Monk, which was the directorial debut of Sammo Hung, as well as ha had Sammo in a starring role. He, Fong Ha Hong was the main villain in that, and he he showcased some yeah, some some great technique in in that, and showed that he was more than capable of holding his own with the complicated fight choreography that was prevalent in Hong Kong cinema of that of that period. And he also he also played a supporting villain in uh, the the magnificent butcher, which um which featured Lei Hui San is the main villain, but uh, Feng Hakon played the son of of Lei Hui San's character in that. And um, that that pro that that probably uh, helped give him a, a a good role with with uh, with really decent screen time. And um, Magnificent Bush is a great film in its own right as well. And I mean, Yun Wu Ping choreographed the action in that. But if Samo's in it, which he uh, which he which he was, then then is a it's inevitable that he'll have a, a say in the choreography, and I'm pretty sure that the Magnificent Butcher was no exception there. And Feng Haron, 
I, I guess because of his um, his slightly sinister appearance, it led him to playing villainous roles more than heroic ones. Uh, in some ways, that can be a bit of a shame, but uh, it certainly didn't stop him from developing a, a really strong following with lovers of the, of this kind of action. And he um, he also had um, had had appearances in uh, Jackie Chan's films Dragon Lord and um, you know, the Young Master. And there was a point in in Young Master where he was one of the two people uh, attacking Jackie while he was disguised as this kind of beggar character. And, and uh, in Dragon Lord, you saw him uh, as the captain of the um, the opposing team in the famous shuttlecock football type match uh, that uh, is uh, is near the middle of the film. In fact, the referee of that match was actually Feng Feng, Feng uh, who was Feng Haron's real life dad. And uh, I suspect even more people knew who Fung Ha On was when he appeared in um, in Police Story in 1985, which was directed by and starred Jackie. Um, I believe the character's name that he played was Danny Chu, and uh, and he, he was um, he wasn't the main villain in that film, but he certainly he certain his character was certainly memorable enough in in that that uh, it probably um, help, further it helped to endear him to some fans who saw him in something other than period kung fu movies, and he held his own in in that as well. And he 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 had a really good good screen presence in that. I, and the transition to what was then modern day um, d didn't um, alter perception of him at all. But in more recent years, you know, you would have seen him in uh, Kung Fu Hustle, the Stephen Chow film, and there was a point where there was a scene in which the two mm, two men dressed in black wearing dark sunglasses were using harps as weapons Fung Hak On played one of those and even though he didn't, there wasn't so much in the way of Kung Fu from him in in that he, he was still instantly recognisable to fans who had seen him in so many of his earlier works so. but in, in 2010 he also appeared in um, in Ip Man 2. In fact, he, uh, you see him have a, a, a really cool fight scene with, you know, on top of a table in that film. And Sammo Hung actually uh, choreographed the, um, the action in that, and in the first film for that matter. And uh, even though Fung Ha Hong by this point was in his uh, 60s, he, he was still um, more than capable of, uh, of, of having a cool fight scene uh, featuring him. And uh, th that scene certainly d doesn't disappoint. Sadly, though, uh, all good things had to come to an end, and 2016 was not a good year when it came to losing people in the public eye, and unfortunately, Master Fong was uh, one of the people lost during that year. On the 2nd of March 2016, exactly five years ago to the day that I recorded this video, Master Fong sadly passed away at the age of 67. From what I can make out, uh, he had been battling against esophageal cancer for the two preceding years. While his um, his uh, sad passing is um, inevitably a, a great loss to, um, uh, to classic Hong, Hong Kong cinema, one thing that, that cannot cannot be denied is that uh, through all those through all those films that he's appeared in, regardless of whether or not they made it uh, found any kind of success internationally, it's undeniable that um, his uh, that uh, 
his memory will live on through those and through the um, the many fans that he must have made um, in through those um, aforementioned film appearances. That's about all I can really say. Uh, uh, and uh, as this is the fifth anniversary of his passing, I, I I thought it was an ideal time to to test the water with a, a video of this ilk and uh, and and s see how well it's received. Uh, see if I could perhaps do another another one of another of my f f favourite. Uh, for want of a better description, supporting uh, actors in the Hong Kong action cinema of the, uh, 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 well, at least it's golden age. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to catch you all on another video soon. Taxi 88 out.